How to create a turning vein in PractiCAD. The best way to get veins into PractiCAD is to simply import them directly from PractiCAM. However, you can also design them here. In order to design a turning vein, we're going to go into the library icon on the PractiCAD ribbon. We're going to open up our library by maximizing it, and then we're going to come to the left. We're going to go scroll down the browser to accessories. We're going to open up our list of accessories, and we're going to click on turning veins. When we do that, PractiCAD is going to give us a list of all of our available veins and give us the ability to import veins directly from PractiCAD. To create a new vein, we're going to come over to the left and click on the box, create a new item. When we click on the green check, PractiCAD is going to ask us to name the vein. For this tutorial, we're going to call it PCAD veins and hit enter. Now what we need to do is simply choose the parameters, which we're going to cover now, and save the vein. The first parameter we have is the vein spacing parameter. This is simply the parameter for spacing in between veins. If we set the vein spacing at 4 inches, it would mean there is 4 inches of space between each vein. If we set it at 2 inches, we'd have 2 inches between each vein. Obviously, the lower the number, the more veins we're going to have from the heel to the throat along the vein track. Therefore, be careful to make sure you pick the proper vein spacing so that in your plotting and printing previews, you get the proper appearance for your veins. The second parameter blade width simply controls the width of each vein. Here you can see that it is set at a quarter inch, so looking at this from the side, you cannot really see all of the veins that well. If you'd like to make the width of these veins larger, simply choose the proper parameter for blade width until you get to the size that you want, and then this way when you go to plot out your drawing, you'll be able to see the veins clearly. The last two parameters, the material and the lining allowance, are simply here in case you'd like to report this information off of PractiCAD. None of these parameters are actually downloading to PractiCAM. PractiCAM has the name of the veins matching the ones that you have on PractiCAD, and it's going to use the information set there. However, you are capable of reporting these parameters in PractiCAD. So if you'd like to report the material of your vein or the lining allowance, where we have the choices for single and double, you can put this on a report. But these parameters are coming directly from PractiCAM. They're only in PractiCAD simply in case you'd like to report them from this program. Looking inside PractiCAM, you can actually see all the parameters we have. Here is the spacing between veins, the blade width, here is the material, and of course we also have the lining allowance parameter with the choice for single and double. Remember, regardless of what you create in PractiCAD for your preview for spacing between veins, blade width, material, or lining allowance, when you download from PractiCAD to PractiCAM, all PractiCam is going to look at for veins is the name. It's going to match up the name with whatever you've called it. If that name exists in PractiCam, it's going to choose all the parameters that you have saved here. So the reason why we adjust everything in PractiCAD is simply for previews and reporting.